Welcome to all the number theory you will ever use in one three zero seconds or less. This is a zero, the numeral indicating a total count of none. If we add one to zero, we get one. Add one to one and we get two. Adding one over and over, we soon reach nine. Adding one to nine results in a rollover back to zero, and we must carry the one into the next column. Continuing to add one to the total, we eventually reach 99. Adding one to 99 results in two rollovers, first of the ones column, and then the tens column, causing a carry of one into the hundreds column. Now we can continue adding one to the total until 999. Adding one more sets us back to zero, 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 since we don't have a thousands column. Using 10 possible values for each column, zero through nine, is known as base 10, or decimal. Numeral digits are great for humans with 10 digits, but it is less so for electronic operations. Having a column of individual signals for each numeral value is a step in the right direction. The first column, the ones column indicates the least significant digit. The digit in each column to the left is more significant since each column's value increases tenfold. This can be generalized as the base raised to the power of the column number, starting with a power of zero for the ones column since any base raised to the zeroth power is one. 10 to the 1 power is 10. 10 to the second power, or squared, is 100. A three-digit base 10, number such as 234 could also be described as 2 times 100 plus 3 times 10 plus 4 times 1. But what if our system does not have enough signals for us to use 10 values for each column? Perhaps only 8 values are available? This is known as base 8 or octal. Again we start at 0 and add 1 over and over until we reach 7. At this point, adding 1 again causes the same roll over to happen. The 1's column becomes 0 and a 1 is carried into the next column. This next column however is not the 10's column but rather the 8's column since we have only added 1 to 0 8 times. Continue to count up until we reach 7 7, and adding 1 again causes a double roll over in the carry of a 1 to the 64's column. A 3 octet, base 8 number such as 3, 5, 2 can also be described as 3 times 64, plus 5 times 8, plus 2 times 1, which is a total of 234 in base 10. While the base has changed from 10 to 8, the number's value is still the sum of each numeral, times its column's value. Now consider that electronic signals are most stable when existing in one of two distinct states, it is little wonder that engineers would choose to use base 2 or binary for reliable electronic calculations. Again we start with 1 bit being 0. Adding 1 to 0 we get 1. Adding 1 to 1 however causes an immediate rollover to 0, with a 1 carried to the 2's column. Adding 1 again results in 1 1. Adding a fourth 1 causes the same double rollover we have seen in the previous bases. An 8-bit, base 2 number such as 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 can also be described as 1 times 128, plus 1 times 64, plus 1 times 32, plus 1 times 8, plus 1 times 2 which again is a total of 234 in base 10. As you can see, as the base gets smaller, the number of columns needed to represent the same value increases. What can be represented in three digits, base 10 takes at least 8 bits in base 2 and the maximum value that can be stored in 8 binary bits is 255. 256 possible values when including 0. Initially computer systems used a group of 4 bits called nibbles, but that was quite limiting, so not long later processors that used 8-bit bytes were introduced, and these were the basis for the first personal computers. A lot of low-level computing was done by modifying byte values directly, and since each 4-bit nibble in an 8-bit byte can hold one of 16 values, it was only natural to use base 16, or hexadecimal when reading and writing byte values. Starting at 0 we again add 1 over and over until we reach 9. Adding 1 to 9 doesn't result in a rollover to 0. Since we have 16 possible values, and only 10 numerals, the letters A through F are used for values 10 through 15. Keep adding 1 to the value and when we reach F, we roll the 1's column over to 0 and carry a 1 into the 16's column. Keep adding 1 until we reach F, F, and we have reached the end of what can be stored in 8 bits. The same value of 234 can thus be stored using only two columns as EA in hexadecimal. Or 14 E, times 16, plus 10, A, times 1. Now that you know this, know that you will likely not do these conversions in your head but rather, use the programmer mode on the stock Windows calculator, or by typing what is 234 in hexadecimal into Google. 
Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.